I've been setting my traps yesterday and I was hoping for something to eat. It seems that my patience has been rewarded with a good meal. But as I came up to the trap, um, I had to make sure that this bird is dead and you have to kill it quickly and humanely to make sure it doesn't suffer unnecessarily. This is going to make a really good meal and I'm really grateful for this. I'm going to use a knifeless method to collect the meat from this bird. What you do is just pull the neck out and then putting two fingers on either side of the body cavity into the hollow, you'll reach the crop and you can easily see what this bird has been feeding on. There's some wild seeds here, which suggest that they are staying in this area because of wild seeds. If I can identify those, it might be another source of food. Then you simply separate the breast from the rest of the bird. All the insides come out. together with all the feathers. And what you're left with is the bird complete with its wings attached. We can break the tips of the wings off, discard those, and there should still be some meat on the wing itself. If I wash that off in the river, I'm going to have a really nice meal that was prepared in no time. Once you've cleaned the bird, don't discard the insides. You can use most of these for bait to catch fish or other predators. You can also use the liver and the heart. There's a lot of nutritional value in that and we can cook it up and we can eat it. When you're skinning an animal, make sure that you do it away from your campsite. That will keep the flies and the insects away. That's attracted by the smell. But most importantly, wild animals will stay away as well. These mountains are well known and notorious for leopard and roikat and I don't want an encounter with one of those. I have my pigeon meat that I've prepared next to the river. I left all the leftover bits there to attract any predators to that side and not to my campsite. I've also washed it off to just make sure it's nice and clean. Whenever you're cooking red meat, make sure that you cook it thoroughly and right through. Don't eat any red meat raw as the risk of disease is much higher. If we cook it thoroughly, we kill anything that might be lurking inside this meat that might make you sick. To cook my pigeon breast, I'm going to use a simple stick and cook it over the fire. So the part that the meat is going on, I'll just remove the bark to make sure there's no flavors or any dirt going into my meat. That's my meat prepared. Now I just have to be patient, wait for it to cook. I've been cooking this for quite a bit now. So I'll just cut off a small piece, see what the inside looks like. Oh, that's nicely cooked. Oh, that is absolutely incredible. That must be some of the best pigeon that I've ever had. And it's my first meal 
and first piece of food that I had for the last two days. This will seriously lift my spirits and it will help me to get out of here a bit quicker. This is just my survival way Walking in my survival way Wild and free, my survival way